Welcome to this lab. In this lab, we will be creating our very first AutoCAD object. We will create a line object using C Sharp. So let's get started. Let's create a new project. So we will be using the class library .NET Framework and let me search for the folder where we would like to put the project let me call this one as draw objects we will use this project to draw the other objects like m text circle arcs lightweight polyline and many more okay so let's get started Okay, so we now have our project open. Let me get rid of the class object here, the class one. Delete that. And let's create our new class. Right click on the solution, add class. Let's just call this one as draw object. Okay. Now we have to make sure that this is public. Otherwise, it will not be visible to AutoCAD. This will be s without the public keyword. It will show us a private, so you won't be able to see it. Let me get rid of all these namespaces here that we don't necessarily need. And also, the very first thing that we should do is to reference all those uh, AutoCAD.NET API. So we have here the ACMGD, we have the AC Core, and we have here the ACDBMGD. All right. Next, we have to make sure that the copy local value is set to false so that it won't create a conflict with AutoCAD. Alright, now we are ready and we should start by uh, including the namespaces here using the using statement autodesk. Dot AutoCAD that application services. The other one is Autodesk that AutoCAD that database services and using Autodesk that AutoCAD that runtime. We will need that for our command method. Also, since now that we are drawing the graphical object we need to add the the geometry assembly okay and also since we will be providing messages to the user we'll have to add the the editor input okay so that's all for the setting up of the project now we can get started. So let's create our very first uh, method. It's a public void. Let's just call this as a draw line. And we have to make sure that we have the command uh, method name. Let's just copy the same as the function name not that long so we're good with that okay so the very first thing to have a handle of the database object is to actually get the, the drawing or the document let me just call that a doc 
using the application document manager and the, the current drawing next we will get the database object doc the database let's also get the, the editor edt equals doc dot editor okay good so far so good now we'll have to wrap the the code into a transaction just to make sure that we can commit or roll back if something happened or if something goes wrong so by doing that we'll be using the the transaction inside a using uh, wrapper so transaction trans was db the transaction manager you should remember this from our previous uh, uh, lessons start transaction okay now we can continue with our coding but uh, I would like to add also the try catch block just to make sure that we handle whatever error that we are we might get during the the runtime it's easier for us to capture the error and identify or find where it's coming from rather than us guessing oh, what happened to our code okay now we can start with the block table let me just call this as bt and then get the trans using the transaction we will get the object And that would be the block table ID from the database. And the open mode would be uh, for read as a block table. Okay, now we have the block table object. Now that we get the block table object, we can go down a little deeper one more level to retrieve the block table record so to do that we have to use the block table record object and declare a variable and instantiate it so now B, uh, btr or block table record is the transaction get object now we have here the object ID so this will be our block table and the key would be block table record that model space that will be the since we are working in the model space and then open mode this will be for writing because we are basically adding a new entity into the the model space into our drawing and this will be as block table record okay next let's just uh, send a message to the user it's basically uh, telling them that uh, drawing a line a line object next what do we need to draw a line we need points so let's declare two points uh, you, you can use point 2d or point uh, 3d let's just use a point 3d pt1 equals new point 3d let's start our line from 0 0 to point 3d our end point would be let's say from 100 to 100 
now we can create a new line so based on those two points just instantiate a line and then equals new line that would be the point 3d which is the starting point point one and point two okay so now we have the line object so once we have the line object we can access its properties and maybe change the the color color index equals one which is red you can put a comment here color is red so next we have to append this object into the the block table record so btr dot append entity and the line object that we created next we have to add into the transaction add newly created db object what, what is the object it is the line object then bool to add it yes true and then now we can commit the transaction there you go So if something happens during the runtime, let's just capture the exception and we can say here that uh, error encountered and then just provide the user with the error message. And of course, since there, since there was an error, we have to abort the transaction. Means we have to roll back whatever is in here so that there is no unreferenced objects. So that's just about it for creating a line. Let's review our code one more time. We have created the document object, which means we have a handle of the, the, the active drawing. Then we create the database instance. Then we create the editor object just to send the message to the user. Then we use the transaction wrapped in a using statement. So we don't have to worry about disposing our own objects. And we also added the try catch just, just to make sure that we capture whatever error that we might encounter when we run this code and then we started declaring the block table and then based on that we create a block table record drawing into the model space then we started creating our line but before that we just send a message to the user then we instantiate a point one and point two the starting and end points for our line and then and then based on those two points we created our line now that we have a line we just uh, put a dot and we can see lots of properties in this case we just change the color to red and then we append that entity into the block table record and then append that line into the, the transaction and we committed the transaction and we also have here a catch just to make sure that we capture whatever error that we encounter so uh, that's it for the code let's save this uh, let's, let's save our project and we will run the code in the next video I'll see you there